Hello and thank you for watching our video. Today we're going to show you how a complex case like this could be cleaned using our Pulse Jet Washer. This case piece came out of the Evo 10 and is part of the uh, SST uh, double clutch transmission. Uh, this case has a lot of tiny oil galleys which feed various pistons, um, you know, the cooler, the, the filter, you know, there's a lot of a lot of places those uh, these ports that you see down here go to, like these two ports right here, go to these here right here, which feed pistons, which will move the shift fork uh, from one gear to another. And you also have holes like here. Uh, you have more piston holes down here. Uh, there's several areas where material can collect. And what the what we've done with this case is we've run it through our uh, basic uh, parts washer, and now. You know, we just finished running it through our ultrasonic, which does a very good job of freeing up a lot of material. And now we're going to run it through this pulse jet to get the remainder of any possible material out of the case, especially these, uh, these galleys, these pressure ports that you see here on the side. Uh, the reason why this is important is because this unit here had a catastrophic clutch failure, which sent metal fragments throughout the entire unit. So we have to be absolutely sure we get all metal material out of this unit so the customer can have um, a, a trouble-free life from this transmission. Close the door. It's hard to do with one hand, so bear with me. So now as we look inside, put this one glove on here. So we can control where the water pressure goes with this nozzle. And let's say we want to go to, let's see, we want to clear out these ports right here where these two pistons sit. We'll go over to the inlet here, push the pedal. You can see it comes out at 500 psi pressure and it's a pulsating hot soapy water mix which will blow anything out of that port. It'll be perfectly clean after we're done with it. So what's really nice about this is the ultrasonic will help loosen the material in the port and then the high pressure from our pulse jet will get the remainder of the material out to assure that this unit is truly clean. So now we'll go to the other port below it. Blew that one out real good. Put it in the next port below. It's hard to see once the water hits the glass, but you get the idea. Now these three ports below actually go to the filter and cooler assembly. So what I'll do is try to turn this around for you. Yeah. Come on. Probably be better if I was better at editing. So you wouldn't have to watch all this. Uh, okay, so we'll find uh, the lowest of the three ports here. Now the, uh, the filter assembly, the factory filter assembly actually bolts into this area here. It has a series of O-rings which seal around each port. So we'll go into one port here. Took care of that one, go to the next one. Oh, where is it? There it is. Go to the next one. And that's about it. Usually after I'm done running it through this machine and going through all the ports, I'll probably end up going in a reverse direction through the rest of these pistons. And, uh, you know, just to assure that I've got everything flushed out. And I might go through some tight areas to make sure any more metal is flushed out of there. And then I'll probably stick this in the ultrasonic again for a few minutes, uh, air it out, and it's, it's good to go. Okay, so this is our ultrasonic 110 gallon washer. We have our Evo 10 case half in here. Just finished running through the pulse jet. All I have to do now is air it out and be as good as new.